Hi guys, this is gsno.com and I'm here with the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra 5G for a quick hands-on and first impressions. As you can see, Samsung has just launched its new flagship for the year 2021. Well, this device has a pretty familiar setup even though they've changed the design a little bit. Now, as you can see here, they changed the camera module. It's a wrap around the left corner of the handset. This is Gorilla Glass Victus, the latest generation, and we also have Gorilla Glass Victus at the front side plus a stainless steel frame. The device is IP68 certified, resilient to uh, well water and dust and also the occasional splash. At the same time there have been some changes for the screen. People have been complaining that they don't get the full experience. Uh, they just had full HD with 120Hz last year. This time they can get uh, WQHD plus the full resolution 3200 over 1440 pixels and at the same time they can get 120 fresh 120 hertz refresh rate which is adaptive and can drop down to about 10 hertz to save battery now uh, inside the phone aside from this screen which by the way is a 6.8 inch dynamic amoled panel well inside the handset you can find a powerful exynos 2105 nanometer CPU accompanied by up to 16 gigabytes of LP DDR5 RAM and up to half a terabyte of storage. No micro SD card slot that we know of. The battery is a 5000 mAh unit with wireless charging and also with wired 25 watt charging. Uh, there's also wireless power share so you can juice up other devices by placing them on the devices on the handset's backside. Uh, aside from all of these, we also have a USB-C port at the bottom uh, and we also have, uh, well, ultra wide band and the brand new Wi-Fi 6E, which is supposed to be about two times, if not more, uh, faster than the Wi-Fi 6. Now on the camera front, at the front side, we have a similar 40 megapixel camera compared to last year, but this one has face detection. So this 40 megapixel camera should handle focusing on your face just a bit better than the past year model. Now, here you can see the back camera and it doesn't protrude as much as the S20 Ultra or the Note 20 Ultra and there are five holes here. Uh, this one is the Periscope 10X optical zoom camera with the 10 megapixel resolution. And uh, we also have these two here. We have a 108 megapixel main camera and also a uh, 12 megapixel ultra wide camera and another telephoto camera with a 10 megapixel resolution and 3x optical zoom. This is the LED flash and this is a special laser sensor which replaces the time of flight one. Should offer you improved bokeh and uh, distance measuring. Okay, now this is it camera wise, at least hardware wise. And uh, if you go further, there are many things to discover here. For example, uh, now, if you go to a more advanced level of zoom, there will be a special window here, which you can tap to stabilize the image properly and not lose the clarity of your image or get some annoying motion. Other novelties, well, finally, after quite a few requests from the public, Samsung has decided to add new portrait options. So if you go here and select portrait, you'll see pretty cool new studio options, which you can select here. Uh, these are more professional, people are working from home, they need a more pro background and they may come in handy. And we also have this wider portrait and single take has also evolved. This is single take 2.0 with extra AI options, extra features and uh, a dynamic uh, movement capture among them. Another new feature is the so-called director's view, which helps you by showing you all the three lenses you can have a preview of all the three lenses, what you're about to capture. And at the same time, you can take a vlogger's view capture, which means both the front camera and the back camera are working at the same time. Uh, you can shoot 8K video with this device, but this time it's uh, 8K in, well, uh, let's see. So it's 8K in uh, up to 24 frames per second. And uh, while you're snapping the 8K video, you can also take a shot, a photo shot, um, uh, with a more detailed resolution, about 33 megapixels while you're snapping the clip. Uh, that's only the surface of what we're about to experience on this S21 Ultra this year. It runs on Android 11 with One UI uh, 3.0 on top. And that's all we had to say as the initial impressions. My first idea is that we're dealing with a device with uh, improved 
camera module design wise and hardware wise at the same time pretty comfy to use and they solved everything that the people demanded the higher refresh rate on a higher resolution the improved zoom stability and also extra portrait options remains to be seen if there are other cool features here the price is around 1249 euros this is it from us bye bye